Nicole from Nicole Jones 911 and I'm here today with the art party Friday for the Crafty Maven getaway and this is how artsy I felt today just pretty plain I just took a watercolor pattern paper and I'm going to take some templates and some inks and some textures from shimmers some gelatos some regular inks, some Cup of Joe from Hero Art Stamps. And I'm just gonna create sort of a funky background. And um, first I cut down my photo and that's probably my favorite meal in the whole world. And I've scrapbooked about this before, but I've been kind of craving it lately. So when I saw the picture sitting there today, I was like, hmm. I'm going to scrap about it, but the only thing is, is now I want it bad. <laughs> so I'm sure we're going to have to make it here very soon. So the first thing I did was, this is a template from Stampin' Up! And I'm just adding some light modeling paste and um, just on a few areas on the layout. And I kind of had ticked around the template, kind of thinking that that's where I want to keep the mixed media was just kind of centered. And of course, that doesn't work that way, but I thought I, you know, give it a try. And um, I'm using some pretty old pattern paper from Echo Park from the Dis This and That collection from a few years ago. And for my last few layouts, I've been using that collection and I just love it so much. It was, it was a boyish collection from a few years ago. And I've been kind of digging into my stash lately and really enjoying playing with, you know, the older stuff. Now I'm going to mix it in with some newer stuff. One collect, while well, both collections are from Crate Paper, one of them is Craft Market and the other one is a Maggie Holmes collection. I couldn't even tell you what collection it's from. It's just in a container that I had here by my desk and I just kind of went through it and to see if I had any craft um, elements in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is, like I said, I put some light modeling paste. I just dried it with my heat tool because I was impatient. I only had an hour to do this layout, so I had to get it done in that hour. It actually took me about 46 minutes, um, but I got her done. So first I just put the gelato directly on my mat and kind of spread it out around those circles with the light modeling paste and then I add um, some gelatos onto my plastic packaging and just kind of smoosh it on the layout and you can tell that both of those it's using the same product but it has totally different looks. So if you're new to the mixed media world you know you don't need to go out there and get a ton of stuff because you know you probably if you're a scrapbooker, you probably have inks, so you can use some inks. You can get a few gelatos, and then you can mix the gelatos together. That's another thing you can do. Blend them together to get another color, but also just applying them with different tools onto your layout makes it look different. Now I'm taking a template, I believe it's from the Crafter's Workshop, and I'm using that Cup of Joe ink um, from Hero Arts, and I'm just adding some lines to the layout and then I really like there's a little cluster of little circles on that too and I really love that so I'm going to use the textures 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 from uh, shimmers and this color here is called muddy buddy and the textures almost it's like they have sand in them and um, they're they give a really cool texture just make sure you clean off your template so that it doesn't turn, um, you know, like cement on your template and then you won't be able to to use your template as efficiently. It's not like ink. Ink is flat and this stuff here has dimensions so it would totally ruin your template. Now I have a stamp set that's one of my favorite. It's from Kaiser Craft. So this thing is like $2.99. It's really cheap. Um, this one is called Crackle, and I just love the texture that it gives. It's just, it looks like crackles. <laughs> but for some reason, it reminded me of spaghetti too. 
I guess I was just in that kind of mood. I just saw spaghetti everywhere. This uh, dish here is using, what we use is spaghetti, a uh, spaghettini, which is the smaller than spaghetti. And oh my goodness, it, it's like a day to make but usually it's because we make enough so that we can have some for the week. So we have tons of leftovers and we don't mind. We'll have it every day <laughs> for a week. It's so good. But um, like I said, it does take quite a bit of time to do. Now I want to add more splatters. So I just added the Cup of Joe ink onto some packaging, added some water using my uh, Distress Sprayer from... Tim Holtz Ranger and then I'm going to dry that up just because I don't want to make a mess by touching it and transferring it to the paper and now I'm going to start building the layers and whenever I have leftovers like that I try to use it the way that they are and then it kind of defines how the layout is going to look. Now I want to add some more splatters and I wanted to add some in some yellow and I had my Peerless watercolor next to me. So I just add water to it and I added some yellow splatters and some dark teal splatters. And eventually I'm going to go get some, I believe, Heidi Swap color shine and I'm going to add some colors to that too. And basically all I was trying to do is to get more and more texture. I kind of kept two sides of the layout really uh, unaffected just plain and then the two sides that it has a lot of texture and now I'm going to start building sort of the layers using the pattern paper and like I said I'm, I'm really trying to use them in the size that they are and I know I want to use that um, lined yellow pattern paper and I'm just going to put it on the side and I'm going to start putting everything together and all these papers are from this the this to that or this and that this and that collection from echo park i believe it was 2012. it's it was at least three years ago a few years well in 2012 i had put some page kits together to go to a crop and i didn't get to use them all and now i'm going back and scrapping those pages and i have on my on my youtube channel and to find that just look in the description below i have a schedule so mondays i do uh mix it up mondays and i it's like um right now i'm catching up on project life on wednesdays i call it watercolor wednesday and it's not that i'm going to be using watercolors it's more there's water and there's some color and then on fridays it's let's get hip fridays and i use the hip kits and then on Saturday, it's Scrap Your Stash Saturday. So I'm digging into my stash. And for the first little bit, I'm going to go through those layouts and get them scrapped. Because they've been sitting there for almost three years now. And they need to be scrapped. And um, so now I took those die cuts that I had put or grabbed to use with this. So, you know, I got a really old collection. And then I have two collections that are fairly new. The Craft Market and the other Maggie Holmes and I'm not like I said I'm not really sure which Maggie Holmes but it's been in the last year and I'm just going through it and just picking up some stuff that is in the teal and craft and gold and I'm just going and just kind of dividing it in in three areas and trying to see um, you know if I can make some of these work now whenever I am ready to do a layout I never I don't like to spend a lot of time on figuring out what embellishments I'm going to use and that's why I like to either pre-make a kit or some you know or or scrap with a kit because I don't like to spend I don't want to spend three hours to do a layout you know 45 minutes to an hour that's what I want to spend just because of time constraints um, I think we all have busy schedules and I'm trying to I know I will never catch up in my scrapbooking, but I'm trying to make a dent in my photos. So um, so these die cuts were right next to my desk. So I just grabbed them and they fit perfectly. You know, the blue tag says fun times, finest homegrown time spent together. And I'm telling you that meal is 
a family thing. Like everybody has to chip in, everybody has to chop and <laughs> like it takes a few people just because of the quantity that we make. It takes a few people to, to put this together so that you don't, you don't have to work uh, on it all day. The girl that I got the recipe from is a girl that I used to work with and she said it was, you know, the eight hour recipe, which, you know, if, if you do it with another person, it's not so bad, but yes, you do have to chop stuff till the cows come home, but it is so good that it's so worth it. And it's everybody's favorite. And I'm going to use some alphas from, it's a cork alpha, and I'm just going to spell yum on the side. And off camera, I mounted the whole thing on a uh, deep brown cardstock, just because I want it to, it to pop off the layout. I thought of using these Emmy Tangerine uh, stickers, but I didn't find they went, they didn't stick out n enough. And that's it. That's going to complete the layout and make sure to check out the Crafty Maven Getaway YouTube channel. Uh, they have a uh, YouTube, they have a video that goes up every, every day from uh, different designers. And I forgot to mention, but there was um, an inspiration at the beginning of the video. And for me, what uh, I got from that is just the grunginess. <laughs> and that's what I went for. It was a lot of grungy on the page. And now there's going to be some close-ups of all the embellishment clusters. And if um, you're new to me and you check me out on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe. I upload four videos a week. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.